Hello everyone, it's pouring time again. My name is Yvonne from My Atelier Acrylic Pouring Art and today I'd like to take you through the whole pouring process. I have not yet prepared my canvas as you can see. I have a 50 by 100 centimeter canvas here and we'll prepare it together. I will show you my sketchbook. We will mix the paint together. We'll do a step-by-step -step pouring because this will take a few days because I'd like to do a black area, then a ring pour or some ring pours and finally a gold leaf stripe on the black area. That's the plan. Sometimes when I'm sleeping or I'm walking the dog, you know, all Glen, I have some ideas what I would like to do next. And that's what came up my mind a few nights ago. And I thought, okay, this could be a great idea. We will see. That's the plan. I have a plan. And we'll see what's happening. First, let's prepare the canvas. I have a cutter ready. Remove the plastic from your canvas. Don't throw this little guys away. These are very important. I really would like to recommend these canvases. These are from the Wall Art box canvas. I really, really love them. They are very high quality canvases and not very expensive. I don't know, guys, if you can buy them in um, America, I don't know, or Australia, but you'll get this one in Europe. So unfortunately, in Europe, there is no Michaels. And that's a pity. I would love to have a Michael store in Europe. Please, Michael. So, as I told you, these wooden edges are very important. They straighten up your canvas. Now, my canvas sounds like this. already quite a good sound. I told you these are high quality canvases. Now you have to put these wooden edges in these little things you have at the background of your canvas. Now get a small hammer straighten your canvas Alrighty. Sound check. You can hear the sound is better now. It should sound like a drum. Next step, masking tape. Don't worry, I will use timestamps for this one. 
so you don't have to watch the whole process. So, next step, push pins. All right. See if your canvas is leveled. It is. The canvas is ready. Next step, paint. All right, mixing my black. I have a kitchen scale here cause I'm a measurer. I have a 0.5 liter cup, Artesa Mars Black. And because I would like to have my black very shiny in the black center, remember? That's what we're trying to achieve. So I'm mixing now the black for this area. I'm using Liquitex pouring medium because this gives the color a very, very nice shine. Let's mix the color. Sorry, I had technical issues. So this is 200 grams of Liquitex pouring medium and 180 grams paint. So I had to get another one of my Mars Black Artesa colors. Almost new, so... Right. Two hundred grams of pouring medium and two hundred grams of paint. Mix it. Really make sure to mix it quite nice. From the bottom to the top. Remove paint from your stick and mix it. So the consistency is far too thick. To get the right consistency, I add some of my distilled water mixed with Floetrol. Meanwhile, I had to get a bigger cup because it got a bit messy and I had to put on gloves. But after a lot of time, my paint has the right consistency. Hope you can see it. It's like warm honey and leaves a small mound. It takes about three seconds. Yeah. That's the right consistency. For me. <laughs> the plan for day one was preparing the canvas, mixing the black, getting the black on the canvas and that's for the day one. So next step, getting the black 
on the canvas. The next thing I'll do is to divide the canvas in the areas. Again, remember, black area and then the ring area. And I would like to have the black area, I don't know, perhaps one part to two parts. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll use the Archesa acrylic markers. These are quite nice, guys. I have 100 centimeters length. So I think I'll do 30, 70. So this will be the black area and this will be the area with the rings. Okay guys, I reconsidered. I think the black area should be bigger. Yeah. I will add 10 centimeters. So we'll have 40 and 60. Yes, I think that's much better because I like to do a gold leaf stripe here and then I will need more black space. So let's mask this area. Let's do another stripe to be sure, to be sure. Okay, let's add the black. It's really important that you have an even surface because it will look messy if you don't work properly. Torch to remove some bubbles. Okay, I'm quite happy with the surface now. I hope it dries properly and I'll get back to you in about 48 hours. See you then. Okay guys, welcome back. It's been a week now and I'm a bit off my time plan because I had a cold, but I'm feeling much better now. Meanwhile, the black area dried very, very nice. It has an amazing shine. I try 
to show you. You can see the lights in the black area. So it's very, very shiny. Remember, that's what we are trying to achieve. And I mixed my paint. I mixed Artesa white, Artesa gold. Then I mixed a grayish light blue. I used some blues and a white and a gray to achieve this. A black and bronze. I decided to do small rings and stretch it. I have 0.2 liter cups and we'll see how many I will use. First of all, let's get rid of the masking tape. Really be careful. Wish me luck with this one. So far, so good. You really have to be careful. Now you have to protect this line with masking tape. I hope that's enough. Now, let's layer some cups. I think I will fill six cups and see if it's enough. If it's not enough, I'll fill some more. I'll start with a drop of white. Next gold. Blue. Black. And again white, gold, blue, black and bronze. Okay, my goal is not to achieve circles. I want to achieve some great um, lines with my rings but I will stretch it. I think I'll start with the first ring up here. Really make sure that you move your cup very slowly. You're not in a hurry. I made the experience when I'm stressed, I should not pour. This is always a disaster.
first cup is empty. This should fill this edge. Second one. Okay, then the next one will be here. I lately opened a new Etsy store and I sold the four elements to Japan. I hope it arrives safely in Japan. I sold my painting Lighthouse to the USA and I shipped it 2nd of February and it's still on its way. So it's been uh, eight weeks now. That's really a long time. It's all of COVID. It's a pity. Yeah, I was able to swirl it a bit in this area. These are the same colors I used for my painting Iceland. I think they work very well together. Let's bring in some movement. Okay, so far so good. Next.
I'm not quite sure if I do the last one here. So the paint will move this way or if I like this movement so much that I like to keep it. Okay, I will do the last one here. And if that isn't a good decision, I fill another cup. There's a lot of paint left over. There's too much white in this one. This area was too wide. So let's get back. Ooh, that's heavy. Okay, let's see. Wow, that looks gorgeous. That's exactly what I was hoping for. No circles, but really nice linings. Let's check the edges. Torch. Okay, that's the second step. And then I come back to you in a few days and see how it dried. And then we'll do the gold leaf stripe. Okay, see you in a few days. So welcome back, guys. It's been four days now and it dried very, very, very nice. As you can see. Very sharp lines. I'm very, very happy with this result. And now it's time for step three, adding the gold leaf. So first of all, I have to remove the masking tape very, very carefully. Next step is to mark where you want to put the gold leaf stripes.
So this is two and a half centimeters and this is seven centimeters. I have a primer from Croil and some deco art gold leaves. Now you have to add the primer with a dry brush. Don't forget the edges. And now you have to wait at least 20 minutes before you can add the gold leaf. See you in 20 minutes. All right, 20 minutes are over. And now it's time to add the gold leaf. Now again, be patient for about 24 hours and then we remove the masking tape and hopefully we're done then. Let's see. Okay, see you in about 24 hours. Hello and welcome back. It's been 24 hours now and it's time for the last step. I'm going to remove the masking tape and what's left over from this gold leaf. Wish me luck! And that's a nice trick to remove gold leaf that is in the wrong spot. Have some masking tape and gently go over the gold leaf. Wow, this looks absolutely amazing. Yes, well, guys, this painting took me well, about three weeks. The first step was to apply the black, then let it dry very well. Then I did this area with the ring pores and stretched it. This dried out very well too. And the third step was to apply the gold leaf. And I'm really, really happy with this painting. I'm looking for a name, I don't know yet, but I hope I have one in mind when I publish this video. Okay, then I'll hang it on the wall and show you some details. I hope you had fun with this quite long video. I have something in mind which is quite similar to this one and the next video I will do in German again. Hope you are all fine and see you next video. Bye bye! Okay, this is the painting.